So I'm here with Eric at Dev Week. What are you doing here today at Dev Week, Eric? You got any sessions coming up uh, today? Yeah, I've got my first session of the week actually, and I'm doing it on Any Framework. And it's a session I've done before, although I've changed it around a little bit. So I'm doing an introduction on Any Framework where I want to you know, explain some of the background, uh, why it's taken us a while to get around to having an ORM, but we're, we're there now. In fact, I explain why we have two. Um, All right, okay. And look at you know, what is our strategic investment around ORMs. Before I get into, you know, let's look at the technology, let's do some samples, let's look at it in SQL Server Profiler to see what's being generated on the back of those samples. I like to do a little scenario, which is based on if you're a developer at 5 p.m. on a Friday using an ORM, what's the kind of mistakes you might easily end up doing with an ORM? And just looking at the SQL that gets generated from those uh, simple mistakes. But I have actually gone to the trouble of adding some stuff on V2, and it, it is a little bit tricky. Um, any framework V2 is going to be part of .NET 4. Uh, the team have been very open on their blog, blogs.msdn.com slash efdesign, uh, talking about their plans. The trouble is, some of those posts are quite old. Um, it's been changing a little bit. They've been taking a lot of feedback from early adopters and from some respected uh, people in the industry who know about um, ORMs and object-oriented development. And I've tried to pull together a, a, a best possible picture of where we are right now, what we think we'll do for .NET 4 with Entity Framework v2. So I'm going to cover that, but one thing I'm also going to do is uh, slip in uh, a demo of a, a tool that I've never shown before, which is always good fun, and it's in beta, which is always good fun, which is from DevArt. Uh, it's called Entity Developer, and it's a different design surface for working with the EDM. So the EDM is at the core of Entity Framework. That's the bit that allows us to create an application model that takes us from conceptual through to storage. We have our own designer in Visual Studio 2008, the Service Pack 1, and it, it has some issues. And I was quite uh, keen to try a different design surface and see how that would work. It's a beta, so it has its own issues, but actually they've surfaced more of the functionality of the runtime. And I think one of the things I, I'm keen to get across this afternoon is that we actually have a quite clever runtime, and the, our own designer does a really good job of hiding it. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that by showing us a second designer, we can sort of expose a bit more of that. Um, it's been interesting this week. We've been manning the stand, and we've had folks come up to us and start talking about Entity Framework. And it is a bit of a marmite of ORMs right now. Uh, yesterday, we had an extremely enthusiastic person um, who was successfully using on a 12-person project. Uh, they were doing great stuff with Entity Framework. They loved it. They had lots of feedback of what they'd like to see in V2. And when I, when I told them what we had planned, that seemed to match quite well. So he was happy. Uh, and then I had the other end of the spectrum, which is you know somebody who's tried different ORM technologies, um, has been successful using in Hibernate, and is now looking at Entity Framework and, and finding stuff missing. And I think that's fair. In V1, we have um, stuff missing if you're just doing a tick list with another ORM. And it's something where we fail to get across is that you know we're trying to be more than just an ORM. We have you know bigger plans for supporting reporting and and other different kind of uh, application models that you might see out there in the wild. ORMs, what we surface first, it has got everything we'd like in V1. We're going to add a bunch of stuff in V2. So it, it's, it's uh, it should be a good session. Uh, I noticed Niels Berglund did a session yesterday on Entity Framework, so I'm expecting to get some people who went to both, which is always a bit of a challenge, but um, I think we've got you know enough in there that will keep people happy when they turn up. And so if we break your session that you're doing today down into three or four little sections, it sounds like there's a sort of landscape, and then there's, what, what are those three or four sections? Yeah, there's three or four there? sections. So um, we start off with, a, you know, um, what's the history and what's the future? So I, I just ask people to believe me that the future is going to be ORM. Right. But I draw, I draw comparisons with Java, uh, okay. where the ORM usage is much more prominent than we have on the Windows platform. Um, so that's my first section, try and just you know, pin the scene. Okay. Um, the next one is to actually go into uh, the technology and just really summarize what's in Entity Framework. Um, and that point will show um, our tools, third party tools, the third section is really trying to give some real guidance on when you might use it, when you might not use it, um, and that's based on work we've done with early adopters. Um, so if you were just going to do a you know, one-month development project that you were never going to touch the code again, is Entity Framework the right choice? And I'll go through some of that. And the final section is Entity Framework V2, so that's where we'll spend time for the last bit. With about eight or nine features in Entity Framework V2 that are you know, key features, everything from 
persistence ignorance, through to model first development, through to things like read only models, which makes sense if, you, for instance, you're building a predominantly reporting or query based UI to the system. Okay, cool. Sounds great, Eric. Have a good session. Thank you very much, Mike.